Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 7 Experimental Science. Unit 1 Highways to Heaven. Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to describe the various artistic descriptions of natural elements mentioned in this unit, explain the success story behind the building of the canopy, and understand the walkway concept. Paragraph 1. As children, we learn to love trees. We climb them. We build forts out of their boughs. We lie on the grass beneath them and watch their branches sway in the wind. We envy monkeys and birds with their agility. And we find fascination with the tiny beasts that inhabit decaying tree trunks. Perhaps strangest, we spend most of our time gazing upward, attempting to sort out the complex array of branches and foliage that is difficult to observe. We wonder what sorts of creatures inhabit those lofty crevices beyond our reach. Paragraph 2. When I, Margaret Lohman, returned from Australia to my position as a biology professor at Williams College, I wanted to share the wonders of the forest canopy with my enthusiastic biology students. During my tenure as a professor of undergraduates, Single rope techniques for access into the forest canopy began to frustrate me. I could not share the canopy with my students by using ropes, for only one person at a time could mount them. Paragraph 3. Then, like a gift from heaven, a letter came to me one day from an arborist in nearby Amherst. He not only had expertise in construction and working in treetop, he not only had expertise in construction and working in treetops, but he also had strong convictions about the conservation of tropical forests. Would I consider collaborating? Bart Baricius and I brainstormed for several months about the design of our temperate canopy walkway in Hopkins Forest. Later, we received a small grant from a local foundation interested in environmental concerns. Our budget was a modest $2,500, which provided two platforms connected by one bridge with a 75-foot access ladder, plus safety equipment for the students. Finally, with a price tag less than that of most microscopes, the walkway proved an excellent investment for the advancement of science. Paragraph 4. The walkway concept became very popular as a teaching and research tool throughout North America. We expanded to tropical rainforests with projects, for example, in Belize, Borneo, Ecuador, and others pending in Costa Rica and Mexico. Our network of walkways grows every year. Comparative studies are now possible in places like Australia, Samoa, North America, Central America, and South America. Even Africa boasts a walkway site in Uganda, although I have not yet been fortunate enough to visit it. I hope that over the next decade, students can initiate additional comparative studies of canopy biology. The platforms and walkways will provide them with a relatively simple and safe method of canopy access. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, boughs. C. The limbs or branches of trees. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word boughs. Mohammed, can you talk about this? I see your trees and branches and limbs of this tree and there is boughs. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word boughs. I'll read the sentence for you. We climb them. We build forts out of their boughs. We lie on the grass beneath them and watch their branches sway in the wind. We envy monkeys and birds with their agility and we find fascination with the tiny beasts that inhabit decaying tree trunks. Number two, foliage. A. The leaves of trees. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word foliage. In this picture I see trees and they are different colors. It's like fall season. And their leaves is they have like orange, yellow and green. And foliage is the leaves of the trees. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph which contains the vocabulary word foliage. I'll read the sentence for you. Perhaps the strangest, we spend most of our time gazing upward, attempting to sort out the complex array 
of branches and foliage that is difficult to observe. Number three, mount. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. E, climb. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word mount. Muhammad, could you please talk about this? Well, I see a tree and there's a house in the tree, and you have to climb to get into it. Mount. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph related to the vocabulary word mount. I'll read the sentence for you. I could not share the canopy with my students by using ropes, for only one person at a time could mount them. Number four, arborist. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. B. Someone who specialized in trees. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word arborist. Muhammad, could you please talk about this? I see a man looking into this tree, and he's checking the health of the tree. That's his specialization. Arborist means someone who specializes in trees. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word arborist. I'll read the sentence for you. Then, like a gift from heaven, a letter came to me one day from an arborist in nearby Amherst. Number five, platforms. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D. Tall or high built structures. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word Platforms. Mohammed, could you please explain this? Well, I see a platform, tall or high built structure built in the trees. Platforms. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph related to the vocabulary word platforms. I'll highlight the word for you. Let's read the sentence. Our budget was a modest $2,500, which provided two platforms connected by one bridge with a 75 foot access ladder, plus safety equipment for the students. Choose the best answer. Question number one. Margaret Lohman is... B. A scientist who studies living things in tree canopies. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which shows us this answer. When I, Margaret Lohman, returned from Australia to my position as a biology professor at Williams College, I wanted to share the wonders of the forest canopy with my enthusiastic biology students. Question number two. Lohman was frustrated with single rope techniques for canopy access because... C. Only one person at the time could climb into the canopy and walk there. Now let's take a look at a paragraph that shows us this answer. I could not share the canopy with my students by using ropes, for only one person at a time could mount them. Now, let's have a discussion. Muhammad, could you tell us the most interesting thing you learned in this unit? I learned the walkway in the canopy of trees was really interesting and new concept, which really helped scientists to learn more about animals, plants, and things living in the tree canopy.